hi everyone hi everyone welcome to our new video today we're going to show you how to connect a Ryko mpc 2503 so you put it in power first but this time in this video we're going to show you how to use a, what just a, a a normal usb cable another video that's when we're going to show you how to use a network cable so that everyone in the building can use this machine because this machine is big and it can give you i think 25 pages per minute so what we do, we're going to get one of the cables, because there's a printer here that's connected, but it doesn't have uh, what they call a cartridge. So now I'm going to get this, just this cable. On Windows 10, Windows 11, in most cases, you get the drivers if you are connected to the internet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and uh, shift the machine. You connect it here. I'm going to show you. You connect it here. Okay, once you connect it there, it should show here. If it doesn't show, don't worry. Still gonna do something. Okay. Okay, so we connected the machine. Unless if the port is messed up, but if the port is not messed up, it's all is gonna be well. So I'm gonna minimize every window. Um Okay, every window, okay. So what we do, I'm gonna click on this and I look for search here, click on the search. Now there could be something wrong here because, okay, it doesn't respond. Oh, it tried to respond. This intern, this machine is very slow. It can make us make do wrong things because of its slow pace. Okay, I'm gonna click here, then I wait. Okay, I got it. Then you're gonna say control panel. After getting in the control panel remove that then you search so here's control panel control panel just watch yeah control panel so you go to um, printers and devices devices and printers let me see uh, devices and printers there Once you click there, we can see that our machine is already there. Why? Because we have a what? Um, it's Windows 10, Windows 11, so it adds itself. Even selected itself to be what? A default printer. So there's no problem. What we're going to do? I'm going to try to... You don't need to do nothing because I haven't connected this machine, but you can see that everything is fine. Um, what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to print... Um, okay, I print it. Uh, let me see if it's gonna come out. If you print, it should show some indication here. Um, the machine is slow itself. The, I'm talking about the computer. It could take long to come, but it's gonna come. Yo, guys, I'm very sorry. You know what happened? I had to select a printer, but I don't know why it, it did default. Then it didn't take this. Okay. Because maybe Microsoft Word was open. So let me select it again. After selecting, then it should print. I'm going to say print. When you print, press that, it should blink. Let's give it time. Sometimes if it doesn't print, you have to switch off your machine. I mean the computer, also the machine. Then it prints. But now you can see it's printing. It's 
going to print. Yo, it did print already. So I'm, oh, I'm sorry to take your time, guys. You can see it printed. It's a good copy. You can see it's a good copy, right? So it makes good copies. So I want to make one of these. This red. We want to see the best of this. Oh. Ah. Then you come and try to print. Okay. Make a print. Okay. So for now, you're going to be using that machine, this machine. Look, it's printing. Wow. Very beautiful copy. You can see. So we only have a problem when we do what they call a, a copy because it fades. I think it needs some service. Uh, let me do, let me do this. Let me do a copy. Yes and uh, press here you can see the copy is faded so it simply means we we need to uh it needs some settings or the developer is gone or something so but it needs service that's it uh it says ready 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 okay you can see now copies printouts we can make copies we can't make you can see even color everything is okay so for now that's what we're gonna do guys um another way this machine doesn't have uh, what they call wi-fi so you can't connect it using wi-fi the only thing you can do now is use what they call a network cable i'm gonna show you so since we've connected it already you can use uh, what they call a network cable this is a network cable if you don't know this cable is called a LAN cable this kind of cable this one you can connect it to the machine straight because already there's the drivers are there you can connect your laptop to that or you connect to the machine to to the network you get me so it will print straight so we can try that but now the cable is what is uh, short but if you have a cable a network cable and if you don't have a usb cable you do put this network cable behind your laptop I'm sorry behind your laptop like this then yeah so after putting it in there then what you do you put it in the machine here uh, by this port the port below the net the one for for USB once you're done with that then 100% you're fine guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video Please share and comment.